I've been coming to kitchens long enough to know. We're looking at a uh, different kind of cut of meat here. Uh, what is this? This is a sweet bread. A sweet bread, which uh, I know is neither sweet <laughs> nor bread. No, it Discuss. isn't. Discuss. <laughs> so this is part of the offal that's inside the animals. This is actually the thymus gland from a calf. This was one of the things when I went to culinary school that changed my life when I had it. These are like adult chicken nuggets. And then my favorite way to cook them is we're gonna roast them in brown butter. All right, because I know we're talking about French cooking, there's gonna be some butter involved. But... Just a little bit. For the sweet bread, we soak them overnight in a slightly salted ice water. Then we're gonna take that, put it into a pot cold with your aromatics. Put all that onto a burner at high heat. And then we dump it into an ice bath. So uh, these are the ones that were boiled in, yep. uh, in the ice bath? Yep, so we're just gonna do like this and you can see how that skin just peels right off. So depending on how much you love it, this is <laughs> two, one two portion or two. <laughs> but so we'll do two, so we can share because I love it too. We're gonna take our pan. We have a little bit of clarified butter. We're gonna start it on some high heat and then Ah, because the real you can't star. have enough butter. So we're gonna just season. Some people like to flour them. I don't, I like to use them as they are. We start them in high heat. And then we're gonna introduce the butters and the herbs. Ooh, nice, nice healthy amount of butter there. I got garlic, I got some bay leaf. It's just a butter bath at this point. So what's happening, the butter solids are caramelizing. And that's what we want to baste over top of the sweet bread. And you want that beautiful foaminess, right? So we're basting over the top while it's also going underneath. And you can't walk away from this. I mean, you know, it's, no, if you're you not careful, this thing will burn quickly. Can't go take a phone call and have a <laughs> beer. It's like when you're making caramel. Think of it that way, right? Goes from nothing to almost on fire. Oh my goodness, and there's just a beautiful aroma happening already. And that's where you're getting all the milk solids, toasting and oh. caramelizing. So. Smells like caramel almost. We're just flipping these over so we can color both sides evenly, but we're gonna continue to baste. And is butter what uh, drew you to French cooking as well? Well, I was trained in all the beauty of hollandaise and lamb navaran and duck a l'orange, so it was always a foundational base of my cooking. And it's such a cliched expression at this point to say butter makes everything better, but Butter does make everything it's, better. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually true. Um, we'll put these guys out. And then in our same pan, we're going to also cook our garnish in. Right now we're doing it seasonally with celery root and mushrooms. You have all that flavor of the butter that's in there. And while that's roasting, we're gonna do the brown butter sauce. So we take some more butter and we're gonna bring this up. So now we're gonna take this we're gonna finish this with some fresh cut parsley. Ooh, nice. Oh, this is looking mighty good, chef. <laughs> I'm gonna put this out to blot and dry. As you can see in here, yeah. the butter starts to foam. Once you get to this light blonde foamy spot, we're deglazing the pan with lemon juice. Yeah. And then we're gonna add our veal stock. Well, the veal stock's gonna give us a little bit of body to help keeping it from the sauce splitting. And the lemon juice will give you a little bit of acid to you balance everything. You the acid to help cut through some of the fat in the butter, and then that brings it all together. There we go, we're ready to plate. Nice. All right, chef, I'm excited to try this just swimming in this brown butter. It smells delicious, too. It sure does. And it pairs great with red burgundy. Oh, Cheers. Of course. Cheers, chef. Delicious. <laughs> All right, and no steak knife needed for, uh, for the sweetbreads. No, the protein's soft enough. The knife should cut right through it. Gosh. You know, I was expecting something super gamey. The brown butter, though, a little bit of lemon juice, that acid, and just how unctuous the texture of that sweet bread is. That is just outstanding. That's good stuff. <laughs> I can see why you fell in love with brown butter. And these mushrooms, the celery root as well, also gonna have a sort of similar meaty texture to them. Yeah, and as you're putting the components of a dish together, 
you want some things that give you some contrast, but also give you some balance, so that, that play well with it. I like this butter, not a fleck of black. <laughs> you pushed it right up to the edge. I'm sure just, you know, one minute too long and you're gonna have a totally like 10 seconds dish. too long <laughs> <laughs> and i think this is delicious and i'll eat just about anything but what would you say to people who are maybe scared off by the idea of organ meat or offal just generally if you see it on the menu and you're at a restaurant that you love and trust from a, a place that you frequent i would give it a try because you'd be pleasantly surprised and there's probably going to be some organ meats that are a little gamier, a little more out there flavor-wise than this. 100%, where, you know, like liver has, you got that irony, minerally piece to it, so this is a totally different, different flavor profile from it. A little starter organ meat. There you go. <laughs> Good work on <laughs> The gateway. <laughs> hey, Seth here. Have you tried this signature dish? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to discover more great restaurants in the DMV, don't forget to subscribe.